somebody asked me recently about different capos and what should I get and well there's there's a lot of things to choose from as far as regular capos for the banjo there's several on the market that are pretty common this is a shove capo and uh, it's got it's, it's basically a C cl clamp kind of capo and it's got a got a little latch on it that so once you set it you push it on there and it, and it clip and holds it in place this is one of my very first capos that I got, well, one of the first shove capos I ever bought back when I was a teenager. And you just hold it on, I hold it with my right hand usually, and put it right next to the fret, just latch it in place, and, and then that, that sets your capo there. The thing you got to remember though, when you capo, you got to capo up the neck too. In this banjo, I have model railroad spikes, and I'll talk about sliding capo later, but this model railroad spike, and you just take and you slide your string under the spike and that holds it at the fret that you need it. And you can, you can put as many spikes as you need. Uh, I keep, on this banjo, I've got a spike at seven, nine, and 10, but you know, different, you know, banjos I've got, some of them I've got them at eight, and some of them, I even had a banjo once upon a time, I had them all the way up here to uh, 12, so what, whatever works. And the spikes are a great solution. And that's the shove. The other capo, that's pretty common that you'll see is the Kaiser capo and it's just a little it's a spring type capo it's not adjustable and uh, you just squeeze it and you put it put it on the you can work it with one hand and you put it put it right where you want it and that's the Kaiser a lot of folks like the Kaiser because they can clip them to their headstock and it's just a good handy place to keep one and that's the Kaiser capo uh, Planet Waves capo is, is a C-clamp type of capo, but it, it has a screw so you can tighten it. Same thing, put it put it right behind the fret, tighten the C-clamp up, just enough to hold the string. And of course you'd have to capo your fifth again, but that's, that's the Planet Waves capo. It's a little wider, and so it will allow you to capo up the neck if you wanted the capo all the way to the 7th fret. And that's the Planet Wave. The capo that I'm using primarily these days is a is a Page capo or you you can find them there. There's an Elliott capo and McKinney and there's a lot of high-end versions of this capo if you wanted something that was really really fancy. But the Page is it's about a $20 capo and it goes on your neck and, and it stays you can actually leave it on so it goes all the way around your neck and then you just hold it in place tighten it up just enough and then when you're done with it you can slide it back over the nut just and just loosely tighten it you don't want to tighten it down past the nut or to pull your strings out of the tune but just just enough to where to stay in place and that's a good handy place to keep your capo and that is the uh, page capo one other capo for for the fifth string uh, is this sliding capo, and this is one by Shub. I don't have a banjo with one of these installed, but it mounts to the side of the neck with little screws, and then this this piece slides, and you just tighten it down on the string. And a lot of folks like these; it's convenient. Uh, and then I've got another banjo that I'll show you here in a little bit, and it's got an old style Pittman sliding capo. And that's pretty much capo options. Now, which one should you buy? Buy the one you like. They're all good. They have. They all have benefits. I'm not particularly crazy about the Kaiser, but I know the guys that like them, and, and there they, there's certain convenience to that one. Uh, I like the page. It stays on there. I don't have to worry about where it is. The the capo I probably use more, and if you can see this one up close, you can see it's pretty well worn. I mean, it's it's dinged and dropped and. And it, it's really handy. It's just, I never knew where to put this one. I usually wind up putting it in my pocket uh, to keep it. So that's one of the reasons I went with one that stays on the neck. But the shove is just a great option. Uh, the Planet Waves, also nice. So any of the, if, if you bought any of these capos, you would be all right. Uh, I prefer the ones that you can tighten. You, you adjust your own tension. But whatever works for you is just fine. Uh, if you want to just use a short pencil and a rubber band, if you can make that work for you, that would just be great. So, 
All right, so what we got here on this, this banjo is sliding capo. Uh, one of the first capos I ever had was exactly this model. And this, they went by different names, but most folks call it a Pittman capo, and it's just, it's just a little piece of metal that screws on the side of your neck, and it's got a spring, and you just slide that spring to the, the end to the, to the fret that you want, that you want capo. They're real notorious for buzzing and making a lot of racket that you don't want, but that was that was the capo and that's what a lot of us used and so if, if your banjo has that then when you capo up here you'll have to slide this one up to wherever you want it and that that's the way that one works and so that's the sliding spring Pittman type capo so there you go there's a little bit of information on the uh, on the capos see you next time